So now I'm going to open a terminal. And here is a terminal. You can see I'm inside the directory. Remember, this is very important. Many people, they run the CDS command outside this directory. You must be inside the project directory, guys, in the command prompt. If you're not inside the project directory, it will not work properly. You have some of the other problem. So let's run our first command, CDS init, to initialize our cap project. Yes. Okay. Now, if you get this error in VS Code, it is very clear because we are running currently in the PowerShell. You see, we are running in the PowerShell. So this needs to be changed. You need to come here and click Command Prompt. And now you see, I'm in the Command Prompt. So delete the PowerShell part. We don't need that. You need to be in the command prompt to be able to run this command. So do CDS in it now. And you see, again, we are getting same error. It's saying the minimum node version required is, uh, yeah. So that's obviously a roadblock now. So I need to upgrade my node version. So let me check my computer. What's the node version I have? So I'm going to go to Node.js. So I go to Node.js and I will have different node versions also in my computer, guys. So I can just go to. So there is a node module called NVM, Node Version Manager. Node Version Manager is a node module which allows you to quickly switch node versions in your computer. Okay, so let's install that module. npm install dash v, sorry, dash g NVM node version manager okay node version manager node version manager is actually a tool provided by open community which allows you to quickly install other node versions in your computer yes and install and and change the node versions so nvm installed nvm dash v i'll check yes okay it's saying not there okay let me install the nvm <clears throat> download and install NVM node version manager. So this is the most easiest way to work with node version yeah? node versions. So in case your company, you are developing different different frameworks and different frameworks require different node versions. You can use node version manager NVM. Okay, so let's go there and download and install the node version manager. NVM Windows repository and we will install. So many times in my company, I have problem with multiple node version because different projects are running on different node versions. So I would need uh, the node version manager to manage all the nodes. So I will say NVM setup. So this is the NVM module. Let me go to my downloads directory. So this will quickly help me to change the node versions. So let me extract on my computer node version manager and I install this node version manager now in my computer. Accept next, 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 next. Do you want NVM to control this version? Yes, also, please. So this is the node version manager tool. It's a tool provided by community. Let me give the link of this tool also in the PPT just in case you want to multiple node versions in your computer you can use NVM node version manager tool it's a free tool provided by community we install that and after we install we can just run the NVM command so we need to close this command from first otherwise the NVM command will not work so if I say NVM dash dash help you see it is not recognizing yeah. So we need to close and open again. And now again, I come NVM dash dash help. It's saying not there. Okay, something is wrong. Let me just check. Though I have installed the NVM, why it's not detecting. Let me just go back and check. Where did it install NVM?
so I need to check how to use it. Just give me a moment. It's been a long time I've been using this. So we download, we installed it. It gets installed in users app data roaming directory. And then simply just do NVMM. Okay, so let's go to app data directory. Percentage app data percentage. And here it seems that in the roaming. Yes, we should have NVM here guys somewhere. Yes, here it is. You see NVM command. So you see guys the node version manager got installed and this is the NVM command here. So this NVM command is not recognized by my command prompt. Why? So if I say NVM dash dash help, it's not working or dash V. It's not working. So to make it work in command prompt in your computer, you need to take this uh, address, copy that address and go to environment variable of your computer. Yes, go to environment variable of your computer. Set the environment variable in the path. So either you do it path here or you just come down to path below. And add that also here. This is very important. If you not do this, the NVM command will not be recognized. So NVM got installed, but command is not accessible because it's kept in this directory. I add that, click OK. And now let me restart my command prompt. And now let's try NVM dash dash help. Yes, there you go. You see, it worked. So this is the node version manager. So you can see NVM current. It will tell you what's the current version of Node.js you have in your computer. So NVM install and then you can tell node version which you need to install in your computer. You can list all the NVM node versions which is installed in your computer. And then you can say NVM use command to use a particular version in your computer. So let me use node version 16 guys, which is little latest. I want to use that. So I say NVM. Yes. Hey NVM node version manager, please install node 16 for me 16 point let's say 10 enter now it is going to go okay and download node 16 i just say 16 yes you see it's now downloading automatically the node 16 the whatever latest is there in 16 it's downloading and it got installed wow look at that so you don't have to go to node website every time download node.js double click install nothing just run this command and install the node version correspondingly. Now I say NVM list. It will list all the node versions I have in my computer. Yes, you see 16 and 14. Why anyone? Can you tell me why there is a star at the beginning of 14? Why anyone? Anyone in the room? Why? That is a current version. In that's the a current version which my computer is using. Yes, that's a default one. So I don't want to make this default because my CDS commands are not working because of this. So I want 16 to be used so because CDS we know that SAP CDS or SAP CAP framework need about 14. Yeah. So maybe I say NVM use 16.19.0, please. And now it will switch the default version. You see, it's giving me a warning. It's okay. Please go ahead, switch. And now you see, now using Node 16. Wow. Isn't that easy to play with Node versions in your computer? That's amazing, guys. Yeah. So now I can say NVM list again, and you will see this is currently using Node 16. You can also check Node-V to actually uh, see the Node version which your computer is using. Cool. So, wow, guys, wow. Let's say, so I'll tell you one important fact. In my computer currently, I have a project which was built on Node 14. It required Node 14. I have a project which is built using a classic uh, IBM technology, Node Red, which required Node 12. And now I have I have SAP CAP framework, which required Node, let's say, 16. Or in future, maybe I develop or use a React framework with latest feature, which required Node 19 or Node 18. So I need four node versions in my computer. And when I run different, different projects as a developer, I would need different, different versions of node. And node version manager, it can, can, can help me to do that really quick. 
So that was the advantage of using Node Version Manager. I hope everybody is clear how to set up, how to use Node Version Manager to switch the Node version. Yes. So now we are on 16. So this is time when I go back again. And we will try to run the CDS init command, which was feeling. Now let's try CDS init. Enter. Voila! There you go. You can see it worked. And it has got me the skeleton of my project created out of the box. Imagine the last time when we built our node project for BTP, we spent so much time to generate this skeleton. We did npm init, npm install, mini modules, create folders and everything. And it's all done here with one click, guys, with one command, the CDS in it. Wow, look at the benefit of CAP framework, guys. CAP framework. That's the beauty of using the CAP framework. Superb, guys, superb, yes. All right, welcome back after the break, everyone. So before the break, we talked about the introduction of CAP framework. We learned about the importance of why we need CAP framework to develop our application in a database agnostic manner or technological agnostic manner. In the future, the technology might change and we would want our project to adapt to it. And in this essence, we have the concept of CDS, the so-called design time artifact. And on compilation, we get the runtime artifact. The runtime code gets generated according to the technology. And then we learned about how to install the CDS DK, the development kit in our computer. During the initialization of our node project, we are sorry, our CDS cap project, we saw the problem with the node version. So we also learn about the NPM, the node version manager tool, which quickly helps you to manage the node versions, multiple node versions parallelly in your computer. And then we got our first node cap project got generated. If you notice, it's actually a node project because it has a package JSON file. Yes.